The real-time clinical data that's coming out of our hospitals and our physician practices is the data that's going to make the difference um, in the health and wellness of our patients, as well as in being able to reduce the overall costs that the that healthcare system is incurring. CAHIN has taken the data that it has obtained from all of the different um, electronic medical record systems of hospitals and doctor's offices all across the state of Kansas and pulled that data into a data warehouse. And the reason that that's valuable is because that data now can be used to really report on specific, specific things that are of value to medicine or value to our community or value to our state. Well, heretofore, um, uh, providers have been compensated on a fee-for-service basis. So the more you do, the more you get paid. CMS estimates that by 2018, 50% uh, of all reimbursement uh, to providers will be on a value-based system, meaning it won't be how much you do, it'll be how well you do. And the only way to do well is to have data and data analytics to help you um, position your organization to be able to deliver care in a high-quality, um, cost-efficient way. I really love the fact that I can look at my patient population and I can look at those patients who are in trouble. I can find those patients. I can develop a list of those patients. And then I can act on that information. So health information, specifically with analytics, is a hugely powerful tool. I think a good way to look at it is that any clinician wants to put, put to best use the tools they have to provide quality patient care. I think what's changed in the last few years is that for the first time, clinicians at the point of care are going to be able to take real live clinical data and turn that into a very valuable tool that will help them provide better care, be more efficient, improve quality, uh, perhaps even reduce cost. In order for you as a provider, let's just say you're a hospital, you want to know how you're going to measure up to these new requirements. And the best way for you to know that is to be able to use data analytics, predictive data, to see how you're going to fare under a new system. Uh, we see it a lot already with some of the requirements for readmission penalties. Transferring information back and forth through a, a, via a health information exchange is, is great to get the right information in front of providers at the point of care. But long term, the ability to provide actionable intelligence, analytics, uh, that will assist providers in, in not just improving quality, meeting the quality measures, uh, but also um, lowering the risk of adverse events is of great value.